Hi, everyone. Uh, we are here with Camilo Villegas for his press conference. Uh, first of all, uh, welcome to Mexico, Camilo. Thanks. I always love it here. Mexico is a great place. Uh, how important is for a Latin American player having a tournament like this here in Mexico? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful place. Golf course in great shape. And like I said, uh, Mexico is very welcoming to all the PGA Tour players. Everybody seems to be very excited to be here. And uh, I've always said it, Mexico has the best servers in the world, so we love it here. How's your game right now? Uh, tell us a little bit about your season. Yeah, I feel like it's trending in the right direction. The season has been pretty slow, uh, hope, hoping for a little turnaround here in the summer. Um, but I've been working on, on good things, feeling feeling comfortable, and uh, hopefully uh, this week is, is a little turning point to just kind of rack up some good finishes uh, to finish the year. Uh, finally, uh, what will be a key to have a good week uh, this week at the end? Well, you're going to have to hit your uh, mid to long irons pretty good. This golf course is, is, is very long. It could be one of the longest golf courses we play on the PGA Tour. And um, and you're, you're, you're de definitely going to have some long irons coming to the greens. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to wait. Uh, Kevin Price has some question in English. Thanks. Um, with the President's Cup assistant captaincy, congratulations on that. Was that what was the emotion of learning? When, when did you learn of that appointment, and what was the emotion of that? Yeah, when Trevor Immelman called me, I was I was I was honored to be honest. It was it was a great call. I've always wanted to be part of that team again. I was uh, part of the 2009 uh, playing as a as a, as a player, and uh, now I'm going to be part of the team. As a captain assistant, uh, again, it's an honor to, for Trevor to believe in me, to uh, think that I can add uh, some positive to the team and unite the boys to, to go out there and play against a very, very strong uh, American team will be a, a, a fun challenge. And uh, uh, Charlotte's a great place. I know the boys in Quail Hollow are doing a great job to have this event uh, being very special, and uh, we're just honored and happy to be part of the, of, of, of the President's Cup 2022. What's your favorite memory from the 2009 President's Cup? Well, it's like going back to college. Uh, we play a very individual sport, and uh, life on the PGA Tour, even though you get along with a lot of players, and it's, it's, it's a great family out here on the PGA Tour, it's still a lonely sport because it's, a, it's an individual sport. So you go from college playing team events to go to playing on the PGA Tour, then to going playing President's Cup and going back to that team atmosphere. So. Again, the team room, the, the camaraderie, the, 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 just the stories, getting to know the players uh, from a different perspective was, was a pretty, pretty cool experience in 09. And go, you mentioned college. Tyson Alexander, your fellow Florida Gator, he won last week on the KFC, and he's close to getting his first tour card. How cool is that to see for him and what? You know, impresses you about him being able to defend a title for the yeah. first time ever. Yeah, in it's it's actually a pretty cool story. I was actually chatting with him uh, yesterday, and uh, he won on the same golf course he won last year, and with with the same caddy he used the uh, the previous year, which is a, a good friend and other uh, guy that played at Florida, Will Strickler. He's now his regular caddy, and uh, uh, pretty special for him. So yes, he's he's playing good. Uh, I sent him a message on to uh, keep it up a uh, few more weeks, and he should be should be in good spot. And then um, with congrats on the birth of Mateo, what was the emotion like of welcoming Mateo into the world of Earth? Yeah, it's college? great. I mean, Mateo is four months old and the uh, family is, 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 is doing good. Obviously, 2020 was a tough year for us, but uh, have Mateo in our lives is, is pretty special. Uh, have a Mia's Miracles Foundation uh, to just kind of add to the joy of, of, of giving back and helping others and, 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 and giving a little purpose to, to our lives and why we're here and how we can... Once again, give back, and uh, uh, it was a, it was a tough experience. But uh, with, without it, we wouldn't have Mia's miracles, and uh, obviously, we, we we truly truly miss Mia. But uh, we're gonna do some great things for others, and uh, try to try to make the best of it. How is Mateo doing, and what's his energy like? So ah, he's great. You know, it's it's fun to be around. I, I'm 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 playing five weeks in a row. I I'm 40 years old. I usually don't play five weeks in a row. Uh, so I'm uh, I'm missing him, and um, I can't wait to just uh, play some good weeks and head back and just give him a hug. Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to have some Spanish questions. So, Camilo, siempre es un gusto saludarte. Bienvenido otra vez. Podríamos platicarnos un poco lo que ya comentabas en inglés. Un honor ser parte de la Presidents Cup y qué latinos crees que puedan acompañarte ellos como jugadores. 
Sí, una vez más, cuando Trevor me llamó fue un honor para mí, eh, tuve la oportunidad de jugar en el 2009 como jugador, eh, al lado de Ángel Cabrera, otro latino. Eh, siempre quise ser parte de ese equipo una vez más, lo, lo trato año tras año como jugador, este año se me va a dar la oportunidad de ser parte como eh, assistant captain. Eh, un equipo fuerte, pero tenemos un reto grande ante un equipo estadounidense muy fuerte. En cuanto a los latinos, tenemos dos jugadores bien posicionados que son eh, Joaquín Niman y Abraham Manser. De todas maneras, nada está, nada está dicho. Faltan eh, bastantes torneos. Eh, los puntos incrementan después del PGA. Eh, de modo que espero que, que, que sigan jugando bien y que, y que definitivamente sean parte del equipo. Por otro lado, tenemos otros jugadores latinos que están por fuera, pero con chances, eh, como lo son Sebas Muñoz, colombiano, eh, Mito Pereira de Chile, eh, Carlos Ortiz, mexicano, y ¿quién me falta? Johnny Vegas. Johnny Vegas tuvo cirugía en el hombro, en, en hombro muñeca, muñeca creo, muñeca. Eh, no sé exactamente cuándo volverá, pero de, del mismo modo como latino, eh, les hago fuerza para que jueguen bien y sería increíble poder sumarle más nombres al equipo de la Presidents. Eh, creo que lo haría más fácil para mí aportar un grano de arena y, y unir a estos latinos eh, entre ellos con, el, con, un, con un equipo fuerte para que tengamos una buena presentación. Bueno, yo quería preguntarle a Camilo qué se siente estar acá en Vidanta, uno de los latinoamericanos esta semana en el FIL y, y qué tan importante es para ustedes tener un, un evento de esta magnitud acá en México. Sí, creo que México ha hecho una gran labor teniendo torneos del PJ Tour y una vez más le, no, solo, no, solo, no solo yo y los latinos disfrutamos mucho viniendo acá, sino los estadounidenses también y los demás jugadores del PJ Tour. Eh, un país muy acogedor que siempre nos recibe bien recibidos con un servicio increíble y en este caso estamos acá en Vidanta, un, un sitio eh, espectacular, una cancha nueva para todos, eh, que está en muy buenas condiciones, muy larga pero eh, una vez más como latino es, es, es un honor estar acá y muy bueno poder eh, seguir creciendo el golf no solamente en México sino Centroamérica y Sudamérica Otra pregunta tienes otra eh, Camilo hablabas de Sebastián Muñoz atrás de Sebastián Muñoz, Marcelo Rosso Nico Echeverría y, y todos han coincidido en que es gracias a Camilo ¿Cómo te sientes de, de haberles abierto brecha de que se hayan fijado en ti como un modelo a seguir y que ahora ya estén jugando contigo también en el PJ Tour, en el caso de Sebastián? Sí, la verdad es que una vez más es un honor y se trata de, de, de tener sueños y, y trabajar para ellos. Todos tenemos eh, nuestros ejemplos a seguir, yo he tenido los míos durante mi carrera y, y si yo he sido una influencia positiva, una motivación para ellos, para... para para seguir mis pasos, llegar al PGA Tour, ganar en el PGA Tour y, 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 no, no, y cumplir los sueños personales de ellos es, 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 es increíble. La verdad es que eh, me alegra verlos jugando bien. Creo que tenemos buen talento, tenemos buenas oportunidades y tenemos nombres que, que van a tener impacto no solamente en el, en el PGA Tour, sino en el Golf Mundial. De modo que... Eh, muy satisfactorio saber que ellos lo ven a uno como un ejemplo de, de esfuerzo, de dedicación, de disciplina y, y que paso a paso con un proceso se van logrando las cosas que uno, que uno quiere. ¿Listos? Bueno, much, muchas gracias a todos por venir. Thanks everyone to be here. Gracias. Que estén bien. Bien, papá. Bien.